i welcome you all to this video here we are going to discuss about zeros of an analytic function we already know the definition of analytic function so having known the definition we are going to discuss about the zeros of an analytic function the book that i am following here is armugham isaac complex analysis by armugham and isaac so you can refer law sackles first book also okay this is the formal definition i am having a function that is analytic in region d then a is said to be a zero of order r where this r is greater than 0 if f of z is can be written in the form z minus a the whole power r phi of z where this phi of z is analytic at a and phi of a is not equal to 0 So a is a zero of f of z of order r. If f of z is written in this form, where this function is analytic at a, and that is not equal to zero. This is the formal definition. So what do you think if f of z is equal to a here? If z is equal to a, this value would be become zero. That is, f of a is equal to zero. Let us discuss uh, with some examples. So the first examples I am having is f of z is equal to sine z. So I used Maclaurin series expansion. I have written this. That is, sine z is equal to z minus z cube by three factorial by z power five by five factorial. This function is analytic in the entire complex region. I have taken z as outside. So I am getting this. Maybe if I take this as phi of z, then this function is analytic at z is equal to zero. So z is equal to at z is equal to zero. Phi of zero uh, is equal to one, and this is analytic, and that is not equal to zero also. Which means this function is written as z multiplied by phi of z, and z is nothing but z minus zero multiplied by phi of z. Therefore, I'm saying zero is a zero of phi sine z of order one. This is my first example. Go through this once. Okay, let us move to the next example. So this is my next example. Here I am having f of z as z minus two by the whole square, z plus three the whole cube e power z. So they have made our job easy. They have already expressed. So here two y is zero of f of z of order two, minus three is zero of f of z of order three. Moreover, e power two y is not equal to zero, and e power minus three is not equal to zero. And we know that e power z is an entire function that is analytic in an entire complex region. Therefore, it is analytic in two y and minus three also, which means two y is zero of order two for f of z, minus three is zero of order three for f of z. This is our next example. And consider this example. This is so similar to the first example that we have done. Here, I consider the function to be z square sine z. I express this term in terms of Maclaurin series. I have taken z outside. So z cube multiplied by this term, as we discussed already. Here, this function that is phi of zero is equal to one. That is not equal to zero, and that is analytic also. And z cube is nothing but z minus zero the whole cube. Here zero is a zero of f of z of order three. That we have order one. So here it is order three. Okay. So last example. Here I am having f of z to be z cube minus one divided by z cube plus one. So as per the definition, we have to return. We have to write this as. Uh, some z minus of something multiplied with the function, but here I'm going to use a different way. Actually, I'm going to equate the function to be equal to zero. So I'm going to find its roots. That is, if uh, I'm go if I substitute as zero, that is, if if a is a zero, then f of a should be equal to zero, right? So other than that, I'm going to equate this as zero. The function zero is kind of pretty clear. That is, I am going to say the entire function is equal to zero. Pretty clear. Why? Because already we have said that f of a when the zero of f of z is zero, f of a will be zero. That is, we have to equate the function to be zero. That is, I have equated the f of z to be zero. If f of z is equal to zero, then numerator should be equal to zero. The numerator cannot be equal to zero, right? So, f of z zero will come. Numerator zero will come. डिनामेटर जीरो वाला हॉल फंगशन बिकम अंडरफेंड और इनफिनिटी अब सो जेट क्यूब इज ईक्वल टू वन सो जेट क्यूब मैनस्ज ईक्वल टू जीरो हिर् हव एक्सप्रेस जेट क्यूब मैनस्ज इन टर्म्स ऑफ 
these two polynomials and uh, z minus 1 is equal to 0 this is also equal to 0 therefore z is equal to 1 the roots of this equation is equal to uh, minus 1 plus r minus square root of i root 3 by 2 and uh, which means it is having three roots three zeros and each zero is of order one so this is of order one this is of order one so in this way also we can find the zero of f of z so we discussed we learned the formal definition of zeros of an analytic function and we discussed them with some examples so this function is analytic except at this point okay i hope you understand the concept let us meet in the next video until then bye